and I'm actually up early in the morning and I'm headed right now to school to start working on my classroom and setting it up. So today is Wednesday, August 1st, 2018. Yes, it's the first day of August and I'm actually up early in the morning and I'm headed right now to school to start working on my classroom and setting it up. But first, let's go to BK to get some breakfast. So let's do this. Okay, Matthew, take your order. So good morning. Uh, let me have number one with no egg or cheese. Whatever, coffee or orange juice? Coffee is fine. How many creams and how many sugar? No cream or sugar. Okay, that's one thank you. Thank you. All right, I got my coffee, I got my breakfast, and now let's head to school. All right, I just got to my classroom and I'm starting to slowly bring in some more things that I had at home, things that I brought from the classroom to home for the summer that I really never ended up doing anything with. And some of the other things that I purchased for the Harry Potter classroom, including this cube right here. So I'm just going to unload what I have in my cart right now and then I'm gonna eat some breakfast. And I noticed that the computer tag had come into the room because the computers are already set up. So let me show you. All right, I don't know if you remember when I was here last Friday, but the computers were not like fully plugged in. So now they're fully plugged in, including my color laser printer and this one as well. The tables are separated, so I need to bring them together. And these are the student computers. And also on my desk over here, they already set up my printer and my computer, which is fantastic because I am planning on working on this and printing some things out. So I'm going to unload that cart and eat something and start working in my classroom. I think the first thing I'm going to tackle for today for my Harry Potter theme is the bulletin boards. And it all starts with me removing all of the border that is superhero themed and putting it away and taking down my city skyline which is right here, taking it down, laying it out on new black paper. So I kind of have an idea how long I need to make the new skyline. And I'm actually going to lay the black paper on this rug so that it's a soft surface for me to sit on the floor and work on. And then I'm gonna start sketching the Hogwarts skyline on the back of the black paper, which is white. I'm just gonna do it in pencil. And then when I'm done and I'm happy with how it looks, I'm gonna take a Zacto knife and I'm just going to cut through it and then lay it on here. So the big plan for today, what I want to accomplish today before I go home, and right now is seven minutes tonight, is make sure I get all the bulletin boards done. The first thing being taking down all the border, making the Hogwarts skyline, and putting up the new paper and border for the bulletin boards. I don't have to really change the paper. The only bulletin boards that I need to change the paper for are this one up here, although I may just leave it, I don't know, I'm still debating whether to leave it in sky blue or just put it black. And these two bulletin boards are gonna be black. So that's what I'm going to do. The only bulletin boards that I can't really touch because I need to take things down first is this one back here and this one right here, which is in between the windows. The other major thing that I would love to do today, but only if I have time and only if I have time, and I know I'm being ambitious right now, is take down all of these things from on top of my cabinets. Yeah. Take all of these things down and set the bookshelves where they need to be, which is around my desk and in that corner over there for the library area. I am not going to build this bookshelf yet. This one is going to be used for the fireplace that I'm gonna put here in the corner. I'm not going to build that yet. I'm gonna wait on that. So first things first, I'm going to tackle some major things that will be big parts of the theme for this year. So let me get going and I'll see you later. I have gathered all the tools that I need for today. So I have my stapler that opens up so it's easy for me to staple things onto the wall. 
tape in case I need it, extra staples, my eraser because I'm going to be drawing on the paper, my staple remover, but I also prefer the flat one, which is right here. This is by Boss Stitch. So this is the one I'll be using. I have pliers for any staples that don't want to come neatly off the wall. I have a hole punch, not that I'm going to use it right now, but it's there. I have my pencils and my scissors. So I'm getting ready to tackle taking out all of the bulletin board border from all of these boards that are accessible to me right now, except for the one at the corner and that one behind all of that. But at least I can get started with the bulk of the bulletin boards. Let me do that now. I just finished taking out all of the border from the bulletin boards that are accessible to me. So see how plain looking they are right now. So the next thing I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and take my black paper and either cover these up in black right now or maybe finish later or start doing the skyline for Hogwarts. So let me go ahead and get my black paper, which is all the way up there, which lets me know I need to get my stepladder from Adriana. So let me go to her room. I don't think she's here right now, but I'm going to go upstairs to her room so I can get my stepladder because my black paper is all the way up there. So I need to get on my stepladder so I can reach it. Let me go ahead and do that now and I'll catch up with you as soon as I'm settled to start. I do want to show you a speed through of me doing the Hogwarts skyline. I don't know how I'm gonna set up the camera, but I'll try my best, because I'm gonna be working on the floor to sketch it out and then start cutting it out with my X-Acto knife, which reminds me, I need to find my X-Acto knife. All right, let me get going and I'll see you soon. So I got my stepladder and I put the paper over here so I can start working on that soon. But first, I wanna do something. Um, I want to start putting the bulletin border on the two that are right there for now and I'm still trying to decide if I should keep that in sky blue because I have an option for the border. If it's sky blue just like this one then it's going to have this black sparkly border that's going to go around it. If it's black then it's going to have this gold border. Now this gold border I'm saving it for this bulletin board back there which is a night scene or skyline that I'm going to do probably of Diagon Alley or Hogsmeade. I haven't decided. So let me start putting the border. So this border represents River. This one is Eurofiki. This one is Valor. This one is Calcini. These are my houses. I am not using Slytherin, Ravenclaw, Gryffindor, or Hufflepuff, although they will be represented somewhere in my classroom through my decoration, which you'll see later. But I am basing these on the houses that I use for my sorting system, which I'll show you later. And those crests go up there. I'm still trying to figure out what to do with this whole wall. Part of me wants to make it like an accent wall using the better than paper bulletin board cover, which is like a plastic that my friend Adriana has in her classroom. I really loved how her wall came down. But if I do use that, it's going to probably cost me a little bit or I don't know if how much it will cost because I may need two rolls of that paper. And each roll is $14.99, I think it's like $15. I'm not sure. So I'm still trying to decide what to do with the overall 
wall right here. We'd love to make it like an accent wall, like looking like wood, but let's see. Still thinking and hold on let me turn the camera over basically i am making like a colorful harry potter theme i don't want to keep the muted colors or the dark colors that's why i'm choosing the bulletin borders like they are because i want a pop of color to come out and i'm sorry i, I was in the middle of filming that clip and my phone went off because i did not put it in do not disturb but anyway i am going to figure this out I'm going to do a speed through of me putting up the border for these two bulletin boards that are over here. And I may do a little bit of the black glitter on that little bulletin board there and also in the corner, just on the top, just to kind of see how it looks. All right, let me do that now. actually having a little dilemma because I started putting together the border in these bulletin boards but my brain is having a hard time because it does not seem cohesive this is what I'm dealing with and I know you saw it before but I want to show you again so I know the borders are the same style they're all scalloped which is great but my brain is like oh my god how are these colors coming together how is it you know being pulled together so I have two options that I'm considering I want to do one option on one bulletin board and then see the other option in the other one to kind of have an idea how it's gonna like look all together. So let me try and get it done and then from there I'll choose. So let me do that now. All right, so I just finished taking down all the navy border that was in this bulletin board. And what I'm going to use is this superhero bulletin board border. I'm just gonna use it the other way so that it's white and the navy sits on top of the white. So let me do that now and see how it comes out. So this is one of my first options. So just putting that white border on the background and having that colorful border on the top of the white. So that's my first idea. Now let me work on the other bulletin board, which is the yellow one. I do have to remove all the yellow border down. So let me work on that one and see what I come up with. All right, so in actuality, I'm just gonna do the same thing that I did for the blue one. Sorry, that is shaky with the white border and then the scalloped border around on top of that. I'm just gonna do the same thing with the yellow one because what I was thinking of doing was this. Let me just show you in the camera, like that, but I actually don't like how it looks. So I'm just gonna go ahead and keep the white background on there and then put the yellow border on top. So that's what I'm gonna do right now with that board.
done with these bulletin boards, I changed the paper to black and I'm really liking how the red and the green look on top of the white border. And that was just, again, my superhero border flipped the other way because on the back it was white. And this is how I did my smaller bulletin board over here. I used all four colors and I still haven't figured out what to do with that one because I may not have enough black sparkly border. So I'm gonna maybe leave that for last to see how much border I have left over because I need to use the rest of my black border for this corner bulletin board. So I need to work on that. And as I'm looking at that, I'm not sure if I should also do the white on the bottom of the black. I think that's what I probably do with that one too. So it looks nice and cohesive. And as you can see, here are the other bulletin boards. It looks so much better. I really like it. I like how they all like connect because they have the white on the bottom. So those with these, it's just like beautiful. And I am definitely thinking of doing the same thing over here, putting the white on the bottom. I think that will look really good. All right, so I don't know what else I'm gonna do. I probably should start on the Hogwarts skyline. I have maybe 30 minutes left in my day because it's five minutes to two and I wanna leave around 3.30 or so. So let me see if I can at least start on part of the Hogwarts skyline and see if I can start putting it on this bulletin board in the back. So I was very ambitious this morning when I said, okay, I'll do bulletin boards and take down all that stuff from on top of the cabinets. That did not happen clearly. As you can see, all of that stuff is still up there and it's not gonna get down today. So I first need to finish these bulletin boards and then I'll see if maybe tomorrow I can start taking those things down and setting up the classroom library area. One of the first places that I do get ready in my classroom if I don't have to do bulletin boards, again, this is the first time out of three years that I have to redo my bulletin boards. I kind of like to keep the same thing if it's working for me for as long as I'm comfortable with it, but after three years, I was ready for a change and I'm very happy that I'm doing the Harry Potter theme. So once I start taking those things down, the first area that I like to start setting up in my classroom is the library area, not my teacher desk. Actually, my teacher desk is like last. I like to set up the classroom library area. I like to make sure the computer area is good. And then I start putting the desk kind of how I want them to go. All right, so let me see how I get this Hogwarts skyline done and see how much I get done in like the next 30 minutes. So if I can put it in speed through, I'll definitely put it in speed through so you can see my process of drawing out the skyline and cutting it out so I can put it on the bulletin board. So here we go. So I wanted to show you the references that I'm using in order to create the Hogwarts skyline. So I have printed these from images that I found online to kind of have an idea on how I can do just the outline. Again, it's like a skyline, so it's gonna be all in black, similar to this. So I just have a few images to kind of give me an idea of what I can create for that corner. So those are the different things that I am looking at so that I can then go ahead and draw the skyline and then cut it out with my X-Acto knife. So I'm gonna start laying down the paper here on this rug and kind of see how the length of this is. Basically the way that I did this one, it's this length and I put it up the first part that I created, I put it up and then I used a Zacto knife and I cut off the bottom. And then I used that piece to create more skyline. So that's exactly what I'm going to do for the Hogwarts skyline. So let me go ahead and lay the paper down here and get started with that.
All right, I think I'm done for today. I mean, I'm not done with the sketch as you saw from the speed through or hopefully you saw it. I'm gonna show you closely now, but I'll finish the sketch tomorrow of the Hogwarts skyline and then I'll cut it out and hopefully put it on this board. But let me show you how that looks so far. So I have all my references around this and this is basically what I have been able to sketch out so far. And this is just freehand by looking at the references. I noticed that these need to be shorter and lower. So this is basically the big part of Hogwarts. Like I think that's the hall where they have the dinners. And what I'm gonna do tomorrow is I'm going to erase these and bring it more lower. And obviously the bridge is not in the right place. So I'll have it line up more to this line. And yeah, I'll fix it up tomorrow. And hopefully I can start using my Zacto knife to cut it out and lay it out on the corner here so this this um section is gonna go from this edge to that edge it'll go from here all the way to about here so hogwarts will be kind of like in the middle there and then over here i'll do more of the mountains that are in the background and the trees and maybe somehow or another i don't know exactly where it is located but maybe i'll do the whomping willow on this corner here we'll see how it comes out but basically that's all that i have done today in my classroom so i'll give you a pan view again of the room so that you can see where it is as opposed to where it was this morning so here we go so not much was done in my teacher area i'm not really worried about that right now I wasn't able to do anything with all the things that are on top of the cabinets and back there on my sink, but I did finish these bulletin boards and this one right here and those two over there. Now, I did decide that I will go ahead and put the white background under the black border. So all this black border will need to come down so that I can put the white background border first and then that on top. I haven't fully decided what to do with this one yet because I don't have enough sparkly black border. Worst comes to worst, I think I'll just do black paper on this header board and do it just like this with the different colors. Now, when I take everything down from all of this, I will have access to this bulletin board, which you can see has a nighttime city skyline. I'm thinking of doing either Diagon Alley or Hogsmeade back here. The border for this will also have the white. So I will literally just flip this border the opposite side so that it's white and then lay down the gold border because this is a night skyline. I will put a gold sparkly border that I have right here. So I bought this border specifically for that nighttime scene. Now, I have another bulletin board here. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough border, but what I'm gonna do with this one is the same thing. I'll flip those superhero borders to the other side and use it like a white border. And I may use this same style there as well. So that's what I am thinking of doing. And that's basically all there is for today's day one of my classroom setup. I don't know if I already showed you this, but I started laying out the magnetic border that's going to go around my whiteboards, and my whiteboards are not clean right now, so that will come later. And I do have to trim the borders, but this is how they look. So here's that magnetic scalloped gold border that's going to go all around my whiteboards, and I have it over here. I have enough so that I can put it all on the edge, the upper and the side edges of my whiteboard. I will not put it on the bottom so it will not go here it'll just stay like that at the top and on the sides so all i have to do with this magnetic border which hopefully i'll do it tomorrow is just trim off the excess so that i can have it just lay exactly how it needs to be so that's all i have for today i hope you enjoy this video and that you will follow me along in my journey to set up my classroom i'm coming back tomorrow i think tomorrow is the only other day i can come in this week next week is my last week from summer break and i really don't want to come in if i don't have to but if i have to i'll come in maybe one or two days and continue setting up my room so 
That's all I have for you today. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment down below, let me know what you thought or any questions you may have. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell for notifications so you don't miss any future videos. I hope you have a beautiful, magical day, and don't forget to smile. I'll see you next time.